Satellite feed confirmed. Around 12,600 years ago, this land sat under a continent of ice up to three kilometers thick. For millennia, it migrated across the terrain, dislocating huge boulders and grinding the rock below into gravel and stone. I wasn't there, but I hear it was pretty intense. Blueberries and partridge berries. Then, something happened and things changed. Spilling them everywhere. I'm just gonna eat the whole damn handful. Cheers. Over a few centuries, the glaciers retreated. As meltwater flowed back into the sea, barren lands emerged. Huge bergs of ice lodged in the sediment were the last to disappear. Left behind is a labyrinthine marshland of kettle lakes, peat bog, and erratic boulders. Brud and I are here on a foggy misty day to roam the so-called Rocky Barrens. Come along for a night of camping and enjoy life in the Holocene. It's time to make tracks. Yep. Hey, welcome back to the base. Rudder and I are just trudging through the Rocky Barrens here. Headed to a campsite near the pond for the evening. It's a gray, early October day, but the wind is low and the temperatures are mild. And our boots are relatively dry. So that's a bonus. I expect the radar has already described this area to you, but this is an old glacial plain. Lots of big erratic boulders and kettle lakes all around. It's our first time exploring this kind of area for a camp out, so. We're looking forward to it. We have to cross this little creek, and we both got really excited because it looks like the perfect size gap between the rocks for crossing. sort of like a driftwood spillway here from where the water's low in this pond and all the pine needles and branches have built up. It's squishy underneath the feet. How does it look? This here's the spot. Oh yeah. Plenty flat enough for a tent. We might even fit both. All right, Brother and I made it to camp. It was a good hike across the barrens and bogs. 
the rain held off, but we can feel some moisture spitting in the air here now, so we're gonna get camp set up. The ground looks flat, but under about 8 to 12 inches of moss and lichen, there's nothing but stones. When I find the right sleeping position, I'll be just fine. Seaweed ain't in there. We've got a handful of instant miso packets left. Top shelf camp snack. That's good, thank you. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Mmm. It really is good every time. Now you know what to do. Yes, sir. Map the area as best you can. If you see any signs of life, try to get pictures. Do you think there is life here, sir? Some of our best minds have always claimed there was. <laughs> well, when we get back, we'll set them straight. <laughs> We're all fueled up with electrolytes from miso soup and chili. Had a bit of water. Got everything ready for this evening here at camp. Now we're going to go for a bit of an exploration. There's just a little bit of a rock wall area here that we saw that looks like it's the divider between two ponds. We want to explore around that a little bit. Let's go. See, there's a bit of a man-made rock wall dividing the ponds here. Let me get you in closer there. Cool spot. The dam appeared to be made by hand, each stone placed individually. The area had no vehicle access, and there was no sign of human presence in recent history, aside from us. Beyond here, the barrens turned back into forest. 
After a short spell, it's back to camp to get supper on the go. Home sweet home. Time to get some supper on the go. We got a couple of steaks and some rice to have. We don't have good cookware for the steaks, so they're just gonna get cut up into little strips, and that's about the best we can do, I think. We don't have a big pan or anything like that, and we're cooking over little burners. This is not the utensil for cooking two steaks. This is gonna be a process. This is, oh my god. It's gonna be weird. Turn that supper. Really, we did this totally backwards. The rice should have went in the pot. You are totally correct. It's not too late. We've got Mexican style rice with black bean and fried up steak strips. Bon appetit. Rice is good. Yeah, that steak's gonna hit the spot too. That's good. Bug really rolled in too. Yeah, just while we were cooking, pretty much. Is this from the grocery store? Honey ginger tea. Instant. It dissolves pretty quick. It tastes really good. Now that's a boil. Thank you. Cheers. Good night. See you in the morning. Good morning. Neat find right by the kettle. Pretty misty out this morning, so I came back into the tent to drink this coffee. It's coming up on 8 o'clock now. Had a pretty good sleep. I forgot my inflatable pad last night, but the ground around here is covered over a foot thick with reindeer and other types of mosses. So I was able to find a pretty comfy spot to sleep. Oh, I'm bringing on the coffee. There's a cup left for Brudder when he finally gets up. But for now, cheers.
What a cool spot this is. Pants down again. What you say? Morning. All last night, we were hearing the sound of some moose. I don't know if it was a calf or a cow, maybe, but they were over here grunting and calling out, and we were just lying down listening for their hours. It was really cool. We've got the campsite all packed up now, ready to hit the trail back to the parking spot. 10 o'clock in the morning right now, a little bit breezier than yesterday, a little cooler than it was supposed to be, but should be a pretty good hike. We're going to stick mostly to the shoreline for the first little while to hopefully stay more dry than walking through all this moss and bush. Yeah, with the drizzle and the fog last night, the ground is pretty soaked, so just walking over there to take a piss, ended up with wet boots. Oh man! Oh baby! Thanksgiving miracle. I won't be doing too many more of those, so thanks for coming along on the adventure. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. And we'll see you on the next one. Until then, it's time to make tracks. Have you seen? Uh, not yet, sir. Uh, yes, sir, there he is. Mac! What's it like out there? Nothing much to see. You feel heavier or lighter than usual? Can you move about easily? Just like at home. What about atmosphere? I'm turning off my oxygen unit and opening the intake valve. Careful. Not too fast now. Like, I was aware I was kind of drifting, but I was still confident. I've cut my supply completely, sir. Rescue buddy standing by, sir. It seems to be okay. It's okay. Send them out. Sit over here looking at him. I wonder if he's sitting over there looking at me. I wonder if I'm sitting over here looking at him. Or am I just wasting my time? Now you know what to do. What I want. Yes, sir. Map the area as best you can. Bring me a report on water sources, mineral deposits, vegetation. And if you see any signs of life, try to get pictures. Do uh do you think there is life here, sir? Well, some of our best minds have always claimed there was. <laughs> well, when we get back, we'll set them straight. <laughs> yeah. So you're on your own. Good luck, Joe. Thank you, sir.
Golf, Roger, request you uh, check your uh, Romeo side. I'll go ahead and check my Tango side. 7 November, golf out.